हेलो व्यूवर्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड वर्किंग गुड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू सेटिंग अप अ जी मेल अकाउंट हाउ सेटिंग अप अ जी मेल अकाउंट लेट स्टार्ट इंट्रोडक्शन सेटिंग अप अ जी मेल अकाउंट इज इजी यू विल बिगेन बाय क्रिएटिंग अ गूगल अकाउंट एंड ड्यूरिंग द क्विक साइन अप प्रोसेस यू विल चूज योर जी मेल अकाउंट नेम In this lesson, we will show you how to set up your Google account or for Google account for Gmail and add and edit content. First is setting up a Gmail account. To create a Gmail address, you will first need to create a Google account. Gmail will redirect you to the Google account sign up page. You will need to provide some basic information like your name. birth date gender and location you will also need to choose a name for your new gmail address once you create an account you will be able to start adding contacts and adjusting your mail setting first create an account go to www.gmail.com second click create account same like in a picture i am showing you third is the sign up form will appear automatically follow the redirection by entering the required information same like in a picture like first name last name user name uh, your password next step is enter your phone number to verify your account this is enter your phone number to verify your account google uses a two step verification process for your security same like in a picture next is you will receive a text message from google with a verification code enter the code to complete the account verification same like in a picture next you will see a form to enter some of your personal information like your name and birthday same like in a picture then press the next button review review google's term of service and privacy policy then click i agree same like in a picture your account will be created same like in a picture just like with any online service it's important to choose a strong password in other words one that is difficult for someone else to guess next heading next is next signing is. into your account when you first create your account you will be automatically signed in most of the time however you will need to sign into your account and sign out when you are done with it signing out is especially important if you are using a shared computer for example at a library or office because it prevent others from viewing your emails now we are talk about to sign in go to www.gmail.com type your username same your email address and password then click next same like in a picture to sign out in the top right corner of the page locate the circle that has your first initial if you have already selected an avatar image it will show the image instead to sign out click the circle and select sign out same like in a picture now we talk about mail setting occasionally you may want to make adjustment to gmail's appearance or behavior for example you could create a signature or vocation reply edit your labels or change the theme these adjustment can be made for your mail setting first we will talk about to access your mail setting click the gear icon in the top right corner page then from here you can click any of the categories at the top to edit the desired setting same like in a picture now we talk about the adding contacts like all major email providers gmail lets you keep an address book of contacts so you don't have to memorize everyone's email addresses you can also add other contact information like phone number birthday and physical addresses to add a contact how to add a contact click the google app button same like in a picture click contact button in the top down menu like contact here we are saying your contact screen will appear and the add new contact bottom button in the lower right corner same like in a picture enter the contact information then click save likes first name last name company job title label email address even you can add a phone number then last press the save button now we talk about the to edit a contact in the google apps drop down menu select contact same like in a picture locate locate the contact you want to edit then click 
edit contact same like in a picture you can now make any changes you want to the contact you can edit you can edit phone number name first name email address then you press click on the save button by default you when you send an email to a new address gmail adds the address to your contact you can then go to your contact to edit the pers person's information as needed imported mail and contacts you may already have a contact list from another email address and it would be a lot of work to re-enter all of this information manually gmail allows you to import your contact from another gmail email account gmail allows you to import your contact from another email account and you can even import all of your email messages from that contact account from that provider, account several, several email providers are supported including yahoo hotmail and now we talk about to add other accounts click the gear icon in the top right corner of the page then select settings go to accounts and click add a mail account you can then follow the instructions on the screen to import your mail same like in a picture now we talk about the sending email when you write an email you will be using the compose window this is where you will add the email address of the recipient this is where you will add the email address of the recipients the subject and the body of the email which is the message itself you will also be able to add various types of text formatting as well as one or more attachment if you want you can even create a signature that will be added to the end of every email you send the compose window click up below to learn about the different parts of the compose window same like in a picture to send an email now we talk about the to send an email in the left menu click the compose button same like in a picture the compose window will appear in the lower right corner of the page same like in a picture you will need to add one or more recipients to the two field you can do this by typing one or more email addresses separately by comma or you can click to the select recipients from your contact then select then click select same like in a picture type a subject for the message it is necessary for every email in the body field type your message when you are done click send same like in a picture note that if the person you are emailing is already one of your contact you can start typing that person's first name last name or email address and gmail will display the contact below to field you can then press the enter key to add the person to the two fields same like in a picture now we talk about the adding attachments an attachment is simply a file like an image or document that is sent along with your email for example if you are applying for a job you might send your resume as an attachment with the body of the email being the cover letter it's a good idea to include a message in the body of your email explaining that the attachment is especially if the recipient is not expecting an attachment remember to attach your file before you click send formatting to attach a file is a surprisingly common mistake now we talk about the to add an attachment while composing an email click the paper clip icon at the bottom of the compose window same like in a picture a file upload dialog box will appear choose the file you want to attach then click open same like in a picture the attachment will begin to upload most attachments will upload with a few seconds but larger ones can take longer same like in a picture when you are ready to send your email click the send button note please you can click send before the attachment finishes uploading it will con continue to upload and gmail will automatically send the email once it's done now we talk about the email formatting gmail allows to add various types various types of formatting to your text click the formatting button at the bottom of the compose window to see different formatting options same like in a picture click the buttons in the in the interactive below to learn about different formatting option in gmail same like in a picture for more serious emails like job application be careful 
note to add formatting that would seems too informal such as bright color or emotions now we talk about the adding a signature a signature is an optional block of text that appears after every email you send by default gmail does not include a signature but it's easy to create one it will typically include your name and some contact information like your phone number or email address if you are using gmail at work you may want to include your title and your company's address or website now start click the gear icon in the top right corner of the page then select setting same like in a picture so scroll down until you see the signature section type your desired signature in the box you can also change the font add other formatting or insert an image if you want same like in a picture so scroll down to the button bottom of the page then click save changes same like in a picture note please you should keep your signature brief instead of listing all of the phone number email addresses and mailing addresses where you can be reached just list the most important ones now we talk about the reading email by default any email you receive will go to your inbox you will be able to tell which emails are unread because they will be bold you can also see the name of the sender the subject of the email and the first few word of the email body this means even before you select an email you can tell quit a few things about it same like in a picture now we talk about to read an email from your inbox the email you want to read same like in a picture the email will open in the same window same like in a picture reading option in addition to reading the email you have several reading options you can click show details to see the email addresses of the sender and any other recipient as well as the date the email was sent same like in a picture you can also click the more button and select add star from the drop down menu same like in a picture now you can reply or reply to all or forward the email to someone else you can click newer or older on the right side of the window to view the next email or previous one you can go back to inbox now we talk about the opening attachment someone you will receive email that contains attachment generally you will need to download an attachment to view it however many common files types like word documents and images can be viewed within a browser windows if the attachment is an image you will also see a smaller copy of the image called a thumbnail inside the body of the email you can tell which emails contain a contain attachments because they will have a paper clip icon to the right of the subject to open an attachment open the email message that contains the attachment same like in a picture click the download icon to save the attachment to your computer if your computer ask whether you want to open or save it choose save you can then locate the file on your computer and double click it to open it same like in a picture you should generally only open an attachment if it's from a trusted source some attachment can contains viruses especially dot exe files if you don't recognize the sender or if you don't know why someone is sending you the attachment if it's safest not to open it for more information replying to emails now we talk about the replying to emails most of the time you will be replying to an email someone else sends you instead of composing a new message when you reply the recipient's email address will automatically appear in the to feed so you won't need to worry about choosing the recipient same like in a picture sometimes you will receive emails from you are not the only recipients and you will need to decide whether you want to reply just to person who sent the message <clears throat> or reply to all the sender and all recipients for example if you are collaborating with a group of people via email you will <coughs> want to use the reply to all options so everyone gets the message 
however if you want to send a more private message to the sender you will need to select the reply option so the message stays between the two of you same like in a picture now we talk about the to reply to an email message while viewing the message click reply at the bottom of the message if the message was sent to multiple recipients you will also have the option to reply to all you can also click the reply arrow to respond to the message same like in a picture you may want to double check the to and cc field to make sure you are sending your message to the correct people if you are replying to all recipients the additional recipients will appear in the cc field type your message in the body field then click send same like in a picture to see the next of the original email while you are replying click the gray button in the lower left corner of the window right above the send button same like in a picture now we talk about the forwarding emails you can also choose to forward an email this basically works this basically works the same as replying but it's used to send the email to someone who was not one of the original recipients just like a reply the original message will appear as a the original message will appear as a quote usually a good idea to include a brief message of your own to explain why you are forwarding the email now we talk about the to forward an email message while viewing the message click forward at the bottom of the message you can also select forward from the more drop down menu next to the reply arrow same like in a picture type the recipient's email address to the to field or click to the choose a recipient from your contact if the person is in your contact you can start typing him or her name you can start typing his or her name and their contacts email address should appear same like in a picture type your message in the body field then click send same like in a picture now we talk about to view or minimize individual from your inbox select that conversation all of the messages in the conversation will appear to be stacked all of the messages in the conversation will appear to the stack on top of one another click a message to expand it same like in a picture click the top part of the message again to minimize the message same like in a picture now we talk about adding a vacation reply when you go on vacation when you go on vacation you may be unwilling or unable to check your email for several days or more the email will still be in your inbox when you get back so it may not be a problem however if if someone sends you an urgent message that needs a response the same day this person may not realize that you won't receive the message in time you can prevent this by creating a vacation reply which will automatically send a reply to anyone who emails you your vacation reply can contain any message you want but usually it will will include the date you can prevent by this creating a vacation reply which will automatically send a reply to anyone who emails you your vacation reply can contain any message you want but usually it will include the date you plan to return and your contact information while you are out of town or possibly the con information of a co-worker who can handle question while you are gone now we talk about to add a vacation reply click the gear icon in the top right corner then select settings same like in a picture scroll down until you see the vacation responder section click the first day field to choose the date you want the vacation reply to start if you want you can also choose a last day but it's not required type the desired subject and message same like in a picture you may want to select only send a response to people in my contact to avoid giving your whereabout and contact information to strangers however if you think you might receive an urgent message from someone who is not in your contact you can leave it unchecked when you are finished scroll down to the bottom of the page and click save changes same like in a picture 
Know that when your vacation reply is active, there will be a bar at the top of the Gmail window showing your message to end the vacation reply. Click end now. Same like in a picture. Now we talk about the deleted unwanted message. No matter how many emails you receive, you will probably never run out of space gmail gives you enough space to hold countless email and their attachments however it's a good idea to delete messages you want you don't want to make it easier to find the one you do want to delete a message while viewing the message click the delete button same like in a picture if the message is a part of a conversation the entire converse conversation will be deleted if you want if the message is a part of the conversation the entire conversation will be deleted if you just want to delete one message in a conversation click the drop down arrow in the top right corner of the message and select delete this message same like in a picture dealing with spam usually spam or junk email is automatically sent to your spam folder so it never gets to your inbox however some spam still gets past gmail spam filter instead of simply deleting these messages it's best to report spam as spam it's best to report them as spam so gmail knows to filter them but in the future the process is the same as deleting a message except that you will click the report spam button instead same like in a picture now we talk about the archiving messages sometimes you may want to remove emails from your inbox but you don't want to delete them gmail allows you to archive messages so they will no longer appear in your inbox because you can still access archive messages it's a safer alternative to deleting to archive a message while viewing the message click the archive button same like in a picture to view your archive me messages in the left menu pane click the more down more drop down arrow and select all mail same like in a picture it will then display all of your messages including archive messages and the messages messages in your inbox same like in a picture now we talk about the managing multiple messages if you are deleting archiving or reporting spam you can take action on several messages at a time by selecting them in your inbox simply place a check mark next to each message you want to manage then click the desired button you can also click the top check mark to select all of the that messages are the that, that are currently visible you can also click the top check mark to select all of the messages that are currently visible same like in a picture now we talk about the working with labels labels allow you to organize your messages and make them easier to find applying a label to a message is like putting it into a folder with one important difference you can apply more than one label to a message for example if you receive a message about a company trip you could label it as travel and work you can choose to label only the most important messages or you can label every single one it's up to you you can create new label you can create new labels whenever you need to and you can also choose a color that will make the label stand out to apply a label to a message while waving the message click the label button a drop down menu will appear with the list of labels place a check mark next to all of the labels you want then click apply same like in a picture now when you view your inbox you will be able to see the label next to the message subject same like in a picture create a new label while viewing the message click the labels button then select create new same like in a picture type a new label name then click create the new label will be applied to the message same like in a picture oh, holy viewing label messages once you have added labels to some of your messages you can easily view all of the messages that contains a particular label this is where all of the time spent labeling messages pays off for example you may want to view messages with the label travel you can see everything 
that pertains to an upcoming trip now we talk about the two view labeled messages in the left menu pane and in the left left menu in the left menu pane click the name of the label you want to view same like in a picture gmail will now display only the messages containing the label you selected the name of the label you choose will appear in the search bar same like in a picture to view all of your messages messages again click in box in the left menu pane some labels may be hidden if you don't see the label you want click the more drop down arrow to view the hidden labels from here you can also click manage labels to control which ones are hidden same like in a picture to choose a label color in the left menu pane find the label you want to change click the more button to the right of the label name same like in a picture from the menu select the desired color same like in a picture the label will update to reflect the new color same like in a picture now we talk about the create a filter open an email message ideally this message should be similar to the emails you want to filter same like in a picture click the more action buttons then select filter message like these same like in a picture in the message in the box that appears type one or more search criteria one or more field may already be filled in based on the email use opened but you can edit the criteria if necessary in this example we are only looking for messages that are from twitter click create filter with this search to select action you want to apply to the filter same like in a picture i am writing the twitter place a check mark next to the desired action if you want to apply a label you will need to choose the label from the drop down menu if you want to apply the filter to existing messages that meet the criteria place a check mark next to also apply filter to matching conversation click create filter in this example the twitter label will be applied to any new messages you receive from twitter as well as all of the existing ones same like in a picture to edit or delete filters now we talk about the to edit or delete filters in the top right corner of the page click the gear icon then select settings same like in a picture click filter and blocked addresses at the top of the screen to view a list of filter that are currently active you can then edit or delete the desired filter same like in a picture now we talk about the search mail the search mail feature allow, allows you to perform a google search in your email this means you can find any message no matter how new or old it searches every part of the message you so you can find a message even if you don't remember who sent it or if you never labeled it to search for a message at the top of the page type some search terms in the google search box same like in a picture your inbox will display your search result you can click an email to read it or you can try a different search same like in a picture not if you are still not finding what you are looking for you can click show search option to perform an advanced search same like in a picture gmail for mobile devices now we talk about the gmail for mobile devices if you have a mobile device there are two main ways to access your gmail account option one the native email app on your device if you have multiple email accounts through different email providers such as a personal email and the work email you may find the native email application to be more convenient because it allows you to view and manage all of your messages in one place option two the official gmail mobile app available for ios and android if you are already an experienced gmail user you may prefer using the official gmail app the app looks and feels similar to the desktop version and it includes some custom gmail features that may not be available in the native email app on your device now we talk about to set up gmail with the native email app in this example we will explain how to sync a gmail account with the mail app for ios devices including the iphone and ipad keep in mind that process may vary depending on your device navigate to the email settings on your device then select add account same like in a picture navigate to the email setting on your device then select add account same like in a picture then select google same like in a picture 
follow the instruction to connect your account when you are done you will be able to send and receive emails from your gmail account in the mail app same like in a picture now we talk about using the gmail app we had like to give you a quick overview of gmail for android and gmail for iphone while the interface for these app is different app is somewhat different you will notice that each app gives you access to the same basic feature gmail for android click button, the buttons button. in the interactive below to learn more about using gmail for android same like in a picture gmail for iphone click the button in the interactive below to learn more about using gmail for iphone same like in a picture remember if you are using the native email app on your phone it will look different from the official gmail app above you can review our lessons on using the ios mail app in our iphone basic and ipad basic tutorial to learn more now we talk about to enable undo setting now we talk about to enable undo send go to your gmail account click the setting button in the upper right corner then choose settings from the menu same like in a picture make sure you are on the general tab then scroll down to undo send the box that says enable undo the box that says enable undo send you can choose a cancellation period of up to 30 seconds same like in a picture to use undo send from now on every time you send an email a small pop-up will appear at the top of the page to unsend the email simply click undo the pop-up will disappear when the cancellation period is over so don't hesitate now we talk about the creating groups in gmail if you find yourself sending email to the same people on a regular basis it may be a good idea to create a group many clients allow you to select various email addresses and save them as a single group this way you can simply select the group as the recipient instead of having select each individual address this feature can usually be accessed from the contacts page of your of your email client same like in a picture now we talk about the email filter when you are receiving a lot of emails on a daily basis it can be difficult to keep them organized luckily various email client offer a feature called filters which basically sort your emails into folder as you receive them you can create filter that sort your email by various characteristics including specific senders or recipient keyword in the subject or body and attachment for example let's say you want to make sure emails from twitter don't get lost among the rest of your messages you could create a filter that sort every email received from twitter as shown below same like in a picture tip for more information on filters and how to create them in gmail review i hope guys you learn from this video and if you are a new user on my channel please subscribe my mera channel and if you want to give me suggestion or if you have any understanding issue then please drop down your words in comment section and wait for my next video till then take care